When I was younger, I trained at Mondock Hospital to be a nurse, but I left to have children. I went back there for 13 years or so as an auxiliary working nights, because that way you're there for the kids in the day. I've done 20 odd years, I've worked with different charities, but all around mental health. I've been a trustee and vice chair and chair of a couple. And I absolutely loved it. And then about five, six years ago, I mean, I was walking with a stick by then anyway, but about five, six years ago, seven, suddenly everything just crashed and I couldn't, partly my back, I couldn't stand up. And it was catastrophic. I was in Plandoc for roughly two months and most of the time sort of on the bed, on bed dressed. And as the ulcers healed, so my, my foot twisted. Um, so it wouldn't go on the floor at all. It was, it started to get for me almost again because the doctors tried very, very hard to discharge me. They kept telling me medically I was fit, you can go home. But I think I'd become one of those social cases where the doctors would say go home and the nurses would say, no, she can't till she's got a package of care. I accept now I couldn't manage without my package of care. There's a lot I cannot do for myself. But it was horrendous. I didn't feel as though I was in control of my home anymore. I didn't feel as though I was in control of me. A couple of months ago, I went on to what they're calling your choice. And it is, does give me a lot more control. Um, I seem to go in phases, say, for hospital appointments, and I can go to two or three a week for a couple of months. And whereas before, I just have to cancel all the meal breaks that it covered. Well, now I can bank them so they're allocated to me in a separate area and I can take them back and use them for whatever I want, which is a huge difference from the actual package of care. Before your choice was introduced to me, if I didn't use that time, which could have been I was, had a hospital appointment or whatever, those hours were lost. I used to be involved with five or six charities all around mental health. Um, because of my health, I've had to give most of them up. I'm still involved with two. One of them's an advocacy service, which is really, really brilliant. And when I go to a meeting, it used to be, I'd have to say cancel lunch and tea calls. And I, I just lose the time. And for years, I've just lost the time. But now I bank those times. So my lunch and tea call will give me an hour back which, yeah, you're in discussion with the office about when they can send somebody out. But I enjoy doing the meetings, but it also means I'm gaining in terms of getting stuff done here that I want. I want to get a lot of my crafting stuff down because I, I want to start doing crafting again. But literally this room has been full because everything I've needed for the past six years has been in this one room. And what I'm doing with the bank towers, under your choice, people come in and they'll help me pack stuff up. They'll take it upstairs and bring down what I want down here. And one of my carers, she help, she's the one that helps with the showers in the week. She does my shopping call. Um, and she thinks it's great. She enjoys doing it. Um, and so do the others that have been here. They say they can see a difference in me and they want to get something down that I'm going to do and enjoy doing rather than just, basically I watch telly 20 hours a day. And so yeah, there's, I've been to Barry Island on a train this summer and actually got off the train, had a bag of chips and came back again. But what, the one thing that it's been me holding back a bit because Tori, the care, is more than happy to do it. I want to try getting on a bus. Now, I know the buses take wheelchairs, but my wheelchair, like me, is slightly bigger than the norm. And the thought of trying to get it onto a bus is scary. 
but before the winter sets in we're going to do that and yeah I mean if I can manage to accrue the banked hours again and maybe tag it onto the two hour social call which is what I call it I don't know what it's supposed to be called um, then maybe we will go somewhere on the bus because that's what that's my next big hurdle, is trying a bus. Um, since I'm getting the extra time with a carer that is, I don't like the word dictating, but in a sense that's what I'm doing. I'm saying this is what I want, this is what will make a difference to my life and my existence. And it's happening. So I suppose I am feeling I'm feeling more confident, I think, or better about myself when I'm actually, when the carer's here. When the carer isn't here, if I'm having a bad day, I'll go back into the can't do anything for myself, but that's wrong because I do get a lot of support now and, and this, your choice has been really amazing for that. <laughs>